<laughs> well, but but but, a... but okay. Right. All right. You win that one. Well, it... well, Bill Maher and Jordan Peterson were recently talking about Christianity, the Bible, and religion. And Bill Maher went on his normal rant on how religion is just a terrible thing. Let's give it a listen. Well, right. people... I mean, look, you want, you want diversity and you want difference in opinion well, because you want to keep things churning. But... What has made people go to war more than anything? Belief in who's the real God. I mean, religion, just to, t I could take any number of reasons why I think it's better to junk the whole thing, but start with religions are supremacist just by their nature. If you're telling people what happens when you die, which nobody knows, and you're telling who the great master of the universe is, you kind of have to be in a place where you can't you can't abide other thoughts on the subject. And certainly all religions are like that. And certainly the Bible, same thing. I mean, God is very supremacist for the Jews. I find it very amusing that the thing that they are accusing the Jews of today of doing, colonizing, ethnic cleansing, which is neither true, um, are true in the Bible. That's exactly what God tells the Jews to do. Ethnically cleanse the Canaanites, commit genocide if you have to. God tells them, you know, kill all the men. This is in, you know this in the Bible. You've written about it in there. To kill all the men, the Midianites, another number of people, kill all the men and the women who aren't virgins, um, kids. I mean, yeah, I'm just standard, standard pattern of, of human warfare. I know, but for, so pe for a... people who take a book as the guide to morality, it's filled with terrible morality. But again, not to keep beating a dead horse about why religion is so horrible. Okay, well, don't, don't, I mean, look, I'm right. Is it worth it? to like resurrect that whole structure when it comes with that. It's what I call the one turd in the pool theory. Like, I mean, a, a, a book that contains, okay, we're okay with slavery. It's terrible on women. It's terrible on, on homosexuals. It's like if somebody said, yeah, but you know what? There's only one turd in the pool, jump on in. I wouldn't jump in if there was even one turd in the pool. And I, I wouldn't wanna like resurrect a book and a mythology. Um, that well, why do you why okay okay uh, you get me yeah yeah I mean there's there's nothing incoherent about that argument although I I think that it I think it still leaves you in an awkward position because the postmodernist would say take a look at your stance and say well you defend Western civilization and there's plenty of turds floating in that pool <laughs> well but but That's but a... and, but <laughs> okay. Right. All right. You win that one. Well, it's, it's <laughs> there, rough because there look, are plenty of turds well, we floating look back in that at pool. The past, That's true. Right? And but we can. Well, but here's the thing: we can fish our turds out, like we had slavery, but we fished that turd out of the pool. You can't do that. The Bible is the Bible. Yeah, it's there, and it was, and it the, was written by God. It was God. the Protestant evangelists that did that. Did that what? Took that particular uh, bit of pollution out of the pool, right? That well, was Will. That was Wilberforce in the UK, and he was completely motivated by religious about motivations. Who, who were for emancipation? He was the but one who erat He was the was one who convinced the UK no, to put their navy against slavery. In of course, Peterson graciously confronts Bill Maher with his glaring inconsistency. But I wanted to say a few things about his ideas about religion in the Bible. First. God does not change, but he does change in how he relates to his people. And we see that in some of the differences between the Old and the New Testament. In the New Testament, we have Jesus Christ. We have the clear revelation of who God is uh, in the person and work of Jesus Christ. As well, I don't think Bill Maher understands what the Bible says about slavery or these other moral issues that he's brought up. And next, I think he's distorted the idea that because there's sins in the Bible, it doesn't mean that every sin that is mentioned in the Bible is affirmed. I wanted to address what he had said about slavery, that it promotes slavery, and Jordan Peterson confronts him with the idea of Wilberforce and what he did. On the issue of slavery in the New Testament, there is a book that you could read. It's called Slavery as Salvation, Paul B. Martin, where he talks about when people became slaves in the New Testament, they actually elevated their lifestyle. Becoming a slave was actually better 
for them. So the slavery that you see in the United States is much different than the slavery that you see in the New Testament. But as well, we, you don't have the New Testament affirming slavery. In fact, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 21 that if you're a slave and you can obtain your freedom, then get your freedom. In the Bible as well, there's a book called Philemon. Paul the Apostle writes a letter to a slave owner named Philemon and tells him that he must release Onesimus as his slave. As with regards to the LGBTQ situation, the Bible teaches sexual purity. And what the Bible teaches is that marriage is between a man and a woman till death do them part. We know one of the main reasons Bill Maher has no concern for sexual purity in, in the New Testament or Old Testament for that matter is because he himself does not want to show any restraint in the area of sexual purity. And the last issue he addressed was women. And if he knew anything about the culture of during the time of Jesus, he would know that Jesus elevated women. Now in the New Testament, the Bible does teach something about women called complementarianism. The Bible does not teach egalitarianism. The Bible teaches that men and women are different and their roles complement each other. And that's just something that when you look at the biology of a man and a woman and everything they are made of, you see that there are differences and those differences complement each other. At the end of the day, we see that Bill Maher has no concern for God's word, no concern for his sin, and he needs to trust in the person and work of Jesus Christ. This is why Jesus Christ came. He came to save sinners. He came to deal with sin, as 1 John 3, 5 says. And you can have freedom. You can have joy. You can be reconciled back to God if you turn from your sin and trust in the person and work of Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching and God bless.